Okay, folks, we want to pop up another quick video. It is Sunday morning. We are back in the office and we we're in the deal with a particular situation that we come across a lot. I'd say we come across it two or three times a month. But the moral of this video is regarding <clears throat> too many cooks in the kitchen, should we say. So what has happened is this particular company are being accused <clears throat> of driving of manipulation attack craft fraud, okay? And what has happened is that the vehicle has been detected moving. The driver is denying that he was moving it. The transport manager has come back to us and said no, the you know his tack graph shows that he was um, off that weekend. But the tack graph shows that the, the card was in the head, but you know he was on bed all weekend. So nobody thought about looking at the tracking system. We went in and looked at the tracker and sure enough the vehicle was moving. So now we have a situation where the operator and company directors um are saying what the hell's going on here. The driver's told the transport manager one thing, the transport manager has been caught out because he doesn't know what he's looking at, and now we have to trace our way back to the driver again. Now, having said that, we then had to speak to the planners, and the planners knew that he was out um, on the road because he was finished up, <clears throat> they wanted a bit of an emergency job going, and um, they decided to advise him, as planners do, okay? advised him <clears throat> the killer, um, put a magnet on and work away. Now, when I say the way the planners usually do, most of the situations we get into, especially for young drivers, come always off the back of, of planners, you know, and competence and capability of planners. Now, we have some amazing planners out there, don't get me wrong, but we also have guys that, you know, made a stack shelves last week and all of a sudden now they're a planner within transport. And this is a regular thing. We get this day in, day out. So, you know, we do a lot of logistics and, and planning training. And after a lot of guys, they say, no, it's not, our, it's not our thing at all because we go deep into operator's license. We go deep into the Road Traffic Act, Road Traffic Order, uh, Corporate Manslaughter, Corporate Homicide, uh, Road Death Manual. We go into all this sort of stuff. You know, investigations that I've been involved, you know, 12, 15 years. And it's trying to upskill them. So a lot of them then will turn around and say, nope, don't want nothing to do with it. Away I go. So guys, in summary, when I say there's too many cooks in the kitchen, that's exactly what I mean. You know, if if... The driver, yes, is at fault, a young driver, but again, made do it, made do it by planning staff. And the planning staff, as usual, will say, if you don't do the load, don't come back. Boom. So I know when I was driving years ago, I used to get it. Um, it didn't it didn't happen too long because you would have come back to the office and, and dragged the lad out over the counter. But unfortunately, a lot of guys out there don't have that mentality. And most importantly, even when I was driving personally, it was always on a part-time basis, so, you know, I, I wasn't sitting paying a mortgage just from driving, which majority of people are. So, guys, transport managers, operators, planners, drivers, you need to open your mouth when these things are happening, because this company now is in a world of trouble, an absolute world of trouble, and, again, we'll have to be stuck in the middle of it to try and see, can we sort them out? First thing we we'll have to do is that planner will be gone with immediate effect. The driver's going to have to be suspended now, if not gone, um, until the investigation you know, we go in more in depth in the investigation. But why do I put these sort of things up, guys? Is because, you know, the guy contacted me, and this here's a new a new client. He contacted me because he's been following us for the last three or four years on social media, um, LinkedIn and, and Facebook and Twitter and what have you. And, you know, he phoned me saying, I've, uh, we met to phone you years ago. Every month we seen a video, we'd say, oh, let's phone that guy, let's phone that guy. And they didn't phone us. And now they're phoning us, as I say, there's going to be a lot of hurt in the next couple of months over this, but we'll put control measures in place and try and fix it. Anyway, guys, make sure you're compliant. If you're stuck, if you need help, support or assistance, give us a shout at tctsgroup.com. And that is all.